Hey YouTube, Scarpio here. This is a brand new PVM series appropriately named Intermediate PVM. Now if you're brand new to RuneScape or PVM in general, or you just haven't had a chance to see that yet, you should definitely check out my Intro to PVM series. I'll put a link for you right up here. This is because most of the concepts that I will cover in the Intermediate series are building off of things that I already covered in the Intro series. That being said, this video we are going to cover a game mechanic that we need to fully understand to take advantage of, and that's the Game Tick system. For those of you who don't already know, RuneScape runs on what's called a tick system. Think of this like the tempo or heartbeat that's behind every action in RuneScape. What this means is that any event that happens in the game that requires the use of the RuneScape servers runs on a timer. The easiest way you can see this in action is by running or walking in RuneScape. Every step taken by your character takes one game tick, which is 0.6 seconds plus any lag or latency between the server and your computer. This means it's essential for you to play on servers with low ping to minimize the latency. As to why they chose the 0.6 seconds, I have no clue. Many people have suggested other alternatives to this tick system, but implementing them would require rewriting the entire game to fit that structure. So since we're stuck with it, let's really understand it. So there are two different types of actions in the game. One requires the RuneScape servers, and one just uses the client that is on your computer. The nice thing about client-side actions are that they are pretty much instantaneous. A great example is right-clicking for options. You can see this in action if you walk around RuneScape and right-click at any moment in your stride. But how does this all tie into combat or PVM? Well, this tick system is the structure of how every attack is executed in RuneScape. I'll first start by showing you a timeline. This is a timeline of game ticks. Now the easiest part of attacking is to understand in this tick system, abilities have a global cooldown of three ticks. Simple enough, every three ticks, you can use a new ability regardless of what weapon you are wielding, and as long as the ability is off cooldown. There are some exceptions, but we'll get into those in a later video. Now I know some of you are a little confused when looking at some of your weapon's attack speed, thinking that because you're running a wand and orb, you should be able to use your abilities faster than if you were using a staff. RuneScape wasn't very clear on this, but that's where I come in. If you were to clear away your revolution bar of all your abilities and then attack a dummy, you'll notice that you still attack them. This is what's called an auto attack. For those of you that are brand new to RuneScape, there was a time before abilities where this was the only way to attack. If this is the combat system that you're wanting to use, I suggest looking at old school RuneScape where the combat system is the same as before evolution of combat. You can achieve something similar to this in RuneScape 3 by turning on legacy mode, but this should only be used in niche situations. If you're wanting to get into higher level PVM, then you'll need to embrace the evolution of combat. I digress. So each weapon has a different attack speed for their auto attack. The fastest takes 2.4 seconds or four game ticks. Fast is three seconds or five game ticks. Average is 3.6 seconds or six ticks. Slow is 4.2 seconds or seven ticks and the slowest is 7.2 seconds or 12 ticks. These auto attacks happen, well, automatically and separately from abilities. To show you an example, if I wield my Noxious Scythe and attack a dummy with abilities, you can see an extra attack that happens every other ability. This is because the Noxious Scythe speed is average or six ticks, while the global cooldown for abilities is three ticks. But because our characters are stuck on this tick system, this means that anyone or anything we fight is also stuck on this tick system. Every creature or boss in the game has their own auto attack, which ranges from one to eight ticks. You can always figure out what the speed is if you search for whatever you're fighting on the RS wiki. The example I'll show you here is Vindicta, which has a five tick auto attack. 
you can see the timeline down here that plots every attack made by me and Vindicta. And you'll notice that some things in combat don't follow the tick system. Two very important things that are client-based are your prayers and equipment switching. But that's really all there is to it. I know it feels like we're getting really nitpicky about the game here, but in order to advance your skills to handle higher level PVM, it requires you to fully understand all aspects of the game. This video is the first of many more to come that'll show you how to use this tick system to your advantage. So make sure you all subscribe so you can stay up to date. I also try to keep everyone updated on my Discord server. I've got the link for that down in the description below. Make sure you all stay healthy, and until next time, happy gaming. Give me something good, Rax. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Uh, two leg pieces. Two leg pieces tonight. There we go.